Hi there. My name's Colin, and I'm from the Calgary Immigrant Educational Society. I'm here today to talk to you about the Link Home Study program. This is your video tutorial on emails and email attachments. So, let's get started. Emails are typically used to send messages to friends, family, and coworkers. But people who are new to email might not know that it can also be used to send files. In this video, you'll receive a beginner's introduction to email attachments. That way you'll be able to send and receive files from your Link Home Study teacher with ease. In all of these examples, you'll want to look for the paperclip icon. This is the universal symbol for email attachments. Now before you do anything, make sure that you have your username and password to log into your email service. So whether it's Gmail, Yahoo, or Hotmail, you'll be ready to follow these steps. When you receive an email with an attachment, you'll need to download it to your computer before you can edit or make any changes to it. Gmail, Yahoo, and Hotmail all have different ways of doing this. In Gmail, open the email. Move your mouse over the file, and it will bring up a few options. Click the arrow to download. On your computer, go to your Downloads folder. The fastest way to do this is to right-click the file on the bottom, or press the arrow and select Show in Folder. In Yahoo, open a message containing an attachment, and mouse over the attachment thumbnail at the bottom of the message. Click the download icon and select where you would like the attachment to be saved on your computer. In Outlook Mail or Hotmail, start by clicking the message. Then move your mouse right over to the email and you'll see an email attachment icon. Click download and it will download the file to your computer where you can then save and edit the email attachment. One of the most common mistakes that Link Home Study students make is that they can't find the file that they want to attach after it's been downloaded. That's why it's very important that you save it somewhere that you can access quickly and easily. For Link Home Study exams, it is recommended to save your test attachment to your desktop so when you are done and you have saved your answers, you'll be able to send the file back no problem. One of the easiest ways to do this is just to drag the file onto your desktop. Sending an attachment is pretty much the same for most email programs. You can start by opening a new email message window, usually by clicking the New Message or Compose Email icon. Next, Click on the menu icon with the paperclip icon that says Attach File or something similar. Browse through your computer's folders and click to choose the file that you want to attach. Click the Open or Choose File to attach the file to your email. This will add it to your email as an attachment. Next, continue writing your email such as putting in the email address, subject, or message and then press Send. Do you have a question or concern that maybe I didn't raise in this video? Please, let me know. You can find all of our information online at www.immigrant-education.ca. We also have a series of other video tutorials and resources on our website. We look forward to helping you with your education, training, and settlement, and wish you the best of luck.